What, if anything, would you do to promote wraparound and community services in schools? Which of those services in general should be the highest priority? As a social worker, I understand the importance of wraparound services. And I particularly value mental health services because I think it's very important for a child's academic success and their overall well-being. I'm really pleased that over the last year we've expanded this, the amount of services, uh, mental health services at our school sites. And I'm looking forward to cooperating with the state and the county and the city, all of which partnerships are essential if we want to leverage the amount of resources we need to adequately serve our families. Because we want to ensure that all students have accesses, access to the services they need. I would say pediatric health services would be the first thing I'd like to get involved in um, our commun potential community full service schools. So if we could connect student health to their schools, I think the um, benefits would be unbelievable. Um, so that means also a healthy, nutritious food service as well. And then um, I don't want to leave out also the, the idea, which is very near and dear to my heart, to have service learning and internship programs be a part of high school curriculum. So creating uh, bonds between the community and the schools and the students in those schools so that when students graduate uh, they understand what's necessary in order to be in the workplace and they can earn living wage jobs um, when they graduate from high school. Well again this is something that's important to me because I believe we need additional wraparound services. One of the things that I was a part of is a committee that uh, sat and worked with the expansion and remodeling of the Key Waden campus of Lake Nokomis Community School. And when we continue to talk about community school while we were working with the architect we talked about the concept of that the school building would be much more than education. It would be a place that the community to come to. So when we were literally laying out the floor plans and where rooms would be and hallways we talked about the idea of having the opportunity of like the south side of the building being open to the community to be used for continuing education. Uh, one of the things that's been very common in our area is SAPEO, which is a great program for getting parents involved in educating them and helping them understand education today and helping their students. One of the things that I've been specifically uh, have learned from talking to delegates and parents about running for school board is uh, mentoring and tutoring children so specifically, specifically with their homework. They need homework help. In other words, the homework they get assigned to that day in school, they need to be able to have somebody who can help them with the homework right after school before they go home. Because sometimes when they go home, they don't always have that help. This is very commonplace when I talk to a lot of Latino families who really want to make sure that their students are getting the best help that they can before they even leave the school. So I'd like to see additional wraparound specific services for those folks. You know, when, when we're talking about when we want to have effective school, when we want to have a good performing school, uh, we have to understand that other factors uh, outside the school also contribute to the success of the, of the students, such as, for example, housing problems. If the parents are not employed and they are unemployed and and if there are some other issues they have, sometimes what happens is that there may be some health care issues, mental health, uh, uh, dental, uh, or in other words, eyewear, and so on. So, so f therefore, it will be good to have s social services in the school, such as social workers. And I think he, that will help students and their families to get the service they want from their own school. So I support that and I, I do believe that we have to build a partnership between the community schools and the city council, the mayor uh, and, and the other uh, organizations, non-profit organizations. So we, we need to have a kind of like one stop services in our schools. That will make our schools great and it, it will uh, improve also the students and their families, because of the families and the students, they're kind of like a chicken and egg, you know, you, you can't separate them, really, really, and, and, and it's important. And it's also good school to be aware the conditions of their students outside their classroom. That would be a great idea, to have such a school that where we have all the services in the school.